Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Everett Entrepreneur, where we talk about uh, lawn care, pressure washing, DIYs, uh, all sorts of ways to make money with side hustles and etc. Uh, today we're going to be talking about making signs for a utility trailer. Um, if you got a, an enclosed trailer for your business, you got a big old rolling billboard. If you got an open utility trailer, you got less space to work with. And, uh, we're going to show you an idea how to make some signs. Please take a minute before we get started. Hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications about all of the future updates and things that we do as we grow this channel. Alright, so in the thumbnail you'll see on my trailer I got uh, some signs on the side of it. Um, one on each side is one on the back gate. And all that is is... This right here started off as a four by eight uh, sheet. Um, I've made a couple of signs and everything with it, so now it's not that big. It's probably four by four. So anyway, this is a, a board that you can get from the local sign shops. Um, I don't think places like Lowe's and Home Depot cover it, but I carry it, but I could be wrong. Um, it's actually plastic, but it has a thin sheet of aluminum on each side. Um, this is black plastic with black on each side. One thing about the black is it does get scratched up, scraped up. Um, but I'm sure that's going to be, you know, anything, whether it was white or whatever, it's still going to be painted aluminum that's going to scratch. But all I did was I figured out what size sign I needed for what I was working with on the trailer. Uh, took a framing square, measured it, marked it out. Um, basically drew it. I took a jigsaw with a fine blade and just took the time and cut it. Uh, it could be straighter. Um, you could probably do it on a table saw or something like that easier where you have a, a guide to drag it down. Um, but it looks alright on the trailer. The trailer's black. The signs are black. It blends in. And uh, this side, I actually got this on a project car I bought. It's an old 56 station wagon. And uh, the guy had this whole sheet laid in the back um, in like the cargo area and it had a rug glued to it so I just took it off and I put this ugly side up against my trailer. Make my decals on the Cricut. Um, I got a video about my Cricut where I've um, made some stuff, some decals to sell on Etsy and junk. But you can take the Cricut Get you an extended mat which is the 24 inch one um, so you can do up to like a 23 and a half inch decal on your signs and that's about it it's it's signboard um, this one is a quarter inch thick I believe they probably make it in different thicknesses the quarter inch works really good it's uh it's fairly sturdy without being overly um, Sturdy. You could go thinner, I'm sure. Even if you had just a sheet of aluminum, you could make a basic sign. But this just works really good. It holds shape good. And uh, I'll show you it on the trailer. And this is what they look like on the trailer. The one on this side, I actually drilled into the rail. Just some bolts, nuts, with some Loctite. Or you could use uh, the Nylock nuts. You can see it's on there, drilled into the rail. One on the back gate, I drilled the sign and then just used washers and nuts and bolts, tighten it up a little bit of Loctite. And the same thing on that one. You can see I put the other side to the inside. Uh, I got a little hook there for my backpack blower. And a little cheap weed eater racks that I've got a video on too. Check that out while you're at it. But that's it, as you can see. Also, with the Cricut. I, I made these decals. I got my decals on the fenders and on the back glass of the truck. So, Cricut comes in pretty handy for advertising your business. If your wife's got one, a friend of your wife's got one, somebody's got a Cricut if you don't. If not, it's not a, a huge investment. But that's it. Thanks for watching. 